Uh, hey, Hello. hey, 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 guys. hey. <laughs> so I've only seen a, a couple of episodes of the series so far, and I, th- I think it's quite quite quirky. And you're obviously your uh, sales uh, people for Luna Timeshares. That's I think is quite you know unique as well. And you and you all bounce off each other really, really well. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, what to all of you? Um, what was it about each of these characters that really, you know, for you, it's, that spoke to you? For me, I felt like I could add value or I could contribute. I had an idea that um, I saw the vision of the creators, Amit and Lucas. And I was like, if I get an opportunity to do this, I think I could do a good job if I get a chance. So, for me, it's been a while since I played this kind of cynical, snarky edgy, sarcastic dude. And I was psyched to do that again. I've done it a couple other times, but not in this kind of context. I just really, I actually chased this job down, which I don't often do. I like heard about it. I was like, I want to be in this. Um, and, uh, and it worked out, obviously. And I'm sitting here talking to you. For uh, me with Shirley, uh, I read that she was capable and competent and really good at her job, but what really turned me on was the fact that she was having an affair with someone who she worked with and or that she works with. And so that brought in some complexity for me with this character and also it wasn't just run of the mill. So I, I really appreciated that and it made me want to dig in deep and try to get the role. Yes, also I was quite impressed with, although it's like it's retro futuristic, um, you're still quite a very strong woman and you're quite a, a leader as well for that, even though, you know, it's, it's kind of based in the 50s. Mm-hmm. Um, would, was that kind of appealing to you as well? Well, you, you know, it was appealing, the costumes, <laughs> and that it was based in the <laughs> 50s and, and that I think that the women then had a sort of different type of femininity that I wanted to lean into, which I don't do in my uh, real life. Um, so that was great. I think the fact that she was running things too, uh, mm-hmm. and, and that to me, she seemed like Jack's partner as opposed to one of Jack's workers, uh, was also made Shirley a bit more, uh, tantalizing for me. So mm-hmm. yeah, I hope that answered what you were asking. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's some, also some pretty cool retro, um, future kind of tech in there as well which is it's quite impressive um what is there any that you enjoyed working with or uh, you wanted to take home <laughs> did you take a big old robot home with the puppeteers <laughs> you know i felt grateful that we didn't have to deal with any of that yeah you know uh <laughs> junk in our actual because they designed it so that it wouldn't work too well the the, the few the, whatever the parallel universe we're living in these robots are trying their best, but they're very flawed. I don't know who designed these things. Um, they've got a lot of character and spunk, but they're really uh, faulty. So, um, you know, I mean, with my iPhone, if it doesn't make a connection in the nanosecond, I get annoyed. I definitely wouldn't be able to put up with these these robots. Um, and and lastly, um, if you had a salesman on your do- doorstep trying to sell you a Lunar Timeshare, would you be receptive at all to all of you? <laughs> yes, I would be receptive. I mean, um, see, we were I'm, well cast. He's very positive. <laughs> I would, I'm, I would absolutely throw the guy out. Yeah, <laughs> throw the guy. I'm not even answering the door. <laughs> I'm below the window, like pretending I'm not home. Well, Does now the modern equivalent. The not appeal? <laughs> Well, I have somebody selling you a condo on the moon. Yeah, yeah. If, it's a, if it's a condo and it, you know, not it's right nice. now, twenty twenty three. If it's a nice condo and I get to see the Earth like every what morning and sunset, or I don't know what it would look like from the moon, but um, I'd be interested. Why not? Well, now we get, you get people calling you at dinner time, bothering you on the telephone at home. Uh, Do you that's still have equivalent. a landline? I have one, yeah. Wow. I, don't know, I, I think only so that people can bother me at dinner time. You wouldn't have to do with that on the moon? When you I, get there? They probably would find some way to call oh, you on the yeah, moon. Sure. Off the rails. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We're talking amongst ourselves. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. 
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, 